say we're not developing enough on policy, we put out a 10-point plan, a 10-point idea. They're open for development, they're open for consultation. And we've had thousands and thousands of emails in reply, sometimes in criticism, sometimes suggesting changes or improvements, but above all, there is a level of interaction and involvement. So we start with rights at work. That's why we've set up Workplace 2020, which is looking at the rights of work of people struggling to survive on zero hours contracts, struggling to survive in unorganized and often quite dangerous working environments. If anybody thinks this is all, well, a bit unnecessary in modern Britain, I urge them to look at two companies, or three actually, look at VHS, look at Sport Direct, and look at Deliveroo. Yeah. For example, yeah. and then you will see the need to end the iniquity of zero hours contracts. Then you will see the need for full recognition of trade union rights. Then you will see the need for a living wage that means that, that people can survive on it. We don't have a living wage in Britain at the moment. We do have towards a million people on zero hours contracts. We have many, many more whose stress in life, real stress in life, is that their inadequate, insecure, often unpredictable wages don't provide them with the money they need to pay their rent, to feed their children, or to live anything like a normal life. What we have is growing inequality in Britain, with greater concentrations of wealth at the top end and burgeoning poverty at the other end. Not right, not necessary, it has to be challenged.